Okay, um, so this is a quick walkthrough in WordPress. Um, so you should be here if you've built a login, which I've done, um, added a new site, and so I've selected this site, which I made some time ago to um, help people through WordPress. And then I go to WordPress Admin, which will probably be the uh, backend that you're most familiar with. So a WordPress.com account has way fewer functions, um, which I think is good news for, for us. So you can't use plugins, for instance. Um, if you wanted to do that, you would need to upgrade to the business plan. We'll stay free for now. Uh, by this time too, you should have identified some visuals that you like. So you'd go to Appearance and then Themes, which I've done. And here you'll see uh, 159 or so themes. Um, there are a few ways to kind of trace through. So I'll just go to Free and then I want popular just to kind of see what's going on. Um, lots of circle profile pics at the top of the header. Uh, justified center, justified left. So the things you want to pay attention to are how does the header look and the menu look? Um, does it have social buttons and does that matter? So typically the menu will either be at the top the justified center, justified left, or on the left side in a sidebar. So that would be a choice you need to pay attention to. Um, you can also pick like, this is like a masonry theme. So it'll kind of be um, something similar to a Pinterest page. This also uses a masonry theme. Um, I kind of like Libre too because there's a menu at the top, but then I like this sidebar because it has um, feature pages that I can use, emphasizes the long form. And I kind of like the way it has an image embedded, so I'll click activate. And you'll see something like that, so then I'll go to Customize. And depending on the theme, you'll have different options here. So in this theme, Site Identity means the title and the tagline. So title, you'd probably have your name, and then tagline, something about ePortfolio, and then I can choose to display it or not. Um, side icon refers to the little picture that shows up here, especially in like Chrome. I can pick some colors, particularly background colors. So we have palettes, which is nice. I kind of like that one. Uh, so you want to create a menu. You want to put it at the header. And then I'm going to be adding pages. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. I automatically add new top level pages. Uh, then I'll go back. Content options. Blog display. I'm just going to put post insert. I don't want that stuff. 
featured images. I'm going to go ahead and do that. So featured image will be like this picture. And so what this page is, it's a archive page. So if I had more than one post, they'd be displayed down this page. I've decided I don't want it there, but I do want them to display on single posts and on pages. And then it'll automatically use just the first image for the feature image. Widgets, I can do later, but if I go to the sidebar, there are a handful of things I can add, like uh, a follow button, uh, image gallery, one image, Instagram photos, uh, recent posts, social icons, top posts and pages, so things that are most clicked on, a Twitter account. So you can add that stuff. I'll go ahead and add Instagram. And so what you need to do is then connect your Instagram account. So we'll go through that process really quick. Jacob Craig. Okay. I'm going to save changes first. Okay. And then I'm going to reload. I was in widget, sidebar, Instagram, connect account. Widgets, home page settings. So typically you want a static page here. <clears throat> and this is where you can add something like um, you know, an about me page or your philosophy for the sake of just adding something. Um, Add it. And so now my homepage will be me a writer. Let's see. Okay. Homepage settings, me a writer. Okay. MP. About that. So then we'll save it. Exit out. So then when you're building out your site, you'll want to include things as pages, basically. Um, so this is my site. Here's my menu. I'm going to go back to admin. Okay. So you want things as pages because pages are meant to be static. Like um, if you decide to change themes and you have them as pages, dates won't show up, categories won't show up, tags won't show up more often than not. Posts that are meant to be timely, they display like in backwards chronology, it's like a blog. So if you're making a blog, do posts. Here we're doing pages. Um, so now I'll just go to all pages. Okay. Trash this. Trash this. 
and that's my philosophy page. I want to add a new one. Um, so I can choose different layouts here, which is kind of cool. Um, in this particular theme, there's portfolio pages, which is really nice, actually. I kind of like this. It doesn't seem like I can add a caption for each one. I'm going to do that. I'm going to use this layout. Okay. Okay. So in this, this is using like the new editor. So here's where I would have like my project caption, like this project. Yes. This is where I would maybe put a screenshot of my project. all that. I don't want a tiled gallery. I just want an image. So what I might do is screenshot something. Um, I'm just going to pick something. And let's say that's um, like a screenshot of my image. What I can then do is insert a link. Um, <clears throat> and what I would want. I don't like to admin. And I want to go to media, add new. And then here is where I'd want to upload my files, basically. Okay. So then they've uploaded. I'm going to go to media library. And when you put something on the internet, each file has a URL. So I'll just click on it, and there's my URL. And then I'm going to go to link. I'm going to add that URL, enter it. And I can um, style the link a little bit. So I want to open a new tab. And then repeat so, that. so that's here I think I can just Three columns. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. I'm just gonna do that so I can duplicate it once I pick the whole block all the way down. And that would be how I would uh, do each of my projects. And I'm going to publish. And I'm going to 
back. And I'll do a similar thing for um, my uh, found artifact. So Since I've selected um, add top level page automatically, should be the page. So here's my um, philosophy page, and this would be the portfolio for my own work. And then I could even, to kind of shortcut, let's see, put some pages. <clears throat> To shortcut that work of creating a new layout, I could just click copy. So now I have this new page, and all I have to do is swap out images and change the links. So that's kind of how to get started in WordPress. Go ahead and stop.